What's going on, guys? It's Parrot 105.1. Nyla Simone here. Your boy DJ Spin King. And we are live on Blends and Trends with a very special <laughs> guest. We got NLE Chopper in the building. Chopper Chopper. How are you? What's going you? on? No, Blizz. Amazing. Me versus me out mm -hmm. now. Yeah. What's the inspiration behind this project and the cover art? Um, So pretty much I feel like it was a it was a revisit of my past, but you know what I'm saying? The same time still being me. Um, Going back to, to the same, to like the... The presence I felt and the drive I felt when I was first blowing up, and with that being said, I used like two old songs. It was supposed to be three, but I used two old songs and um, just pretty much reinventing and making sound better. So like the old, the old sound that everybody expected from me from during that time, I just feel like on a sober mind and the, the lifestyle I live now, I'm way more clear with with writing my music. I write music now. I used to freestyle, so. I feel like it's just a more improved version of myself, what I used to be. More intentional. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. And as, as far as, like, the cover art. Mm -hmm. The cover art, that's pretty much was it. Like, I said, since I'm revisioning the past or, you know, why not just use, like, a picture. I had Bantu not in my hair up, made it look like I had a fade, like how I used to be when I was growing, when I was first blowing up. And then the other side was just me right now, like, at the current, current moment. So it was just, like, 2000. What, 19 when I blew? 2019 and 2022. Damn. Mm -hmm. So much success, though, in, that, mm -hmm. in a short amount of time. Yeah, like, yo. How do you feel like it is keeping up with blowing up to staying relevant and keeping yourself going? Like, what do you what do you think is your plan behind that? Um, Just just working. Um, Making sure I'm working harder than everybody that I feel that's working hard. You know, um, like I said, I don't really take vacations. I don't really take breaks because I'm uncomfortable with knowing somebody working and I'm not. So I feel like... As long as my work ethic is there, I'm going to outbeat, you know what I'm saying, talent or fresh talent, anyone or anybody, because I feel like God, that's one thing God realizes is somebody that works overtime or behind the scenes, because that's the, that's the role that God does. He works overtime and behind the scenes. So just being my best, the best me everywhere I go and staying, you know, busy. I want to ask you in that Tupac reshoot, how did you become bald? Oh, uh, I had put a... <laughs> I put like a ball cap on. Oh, all right. Yeah, gave him. He was like, he got all them dreads. Yeah, I'm though. like, yo, How bro, that shit. Like that? It was fire though. The way you reshot yeah. it was dope because you had like the the shotter tattoo the mm -hmm. same way he had the thug life tattoo. Yeah, so I thought that was dope. You know what was crazy about that shoot? A lot of people don't know. Everything felt like it was going wrong during the shoot, and and that's one way that God tests you because God tests you, but the devil work overtime through the midst of when you make. What was going great. wrong in the shoot? Um, the down the. the the ball cap kept coming up. Oh. It was coming up like from the back, and it'll make like a, 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 like, a like a loop line in your whole, and shit. Yeah, and it, <laughs> and looking it, like an alien. It, it really <laughs> looked like so. But um, I'm just glad if you if you pause it like one like a good time during the video and zoom in, you'll probably be able to see like the ball cap mm. wasn't the best the whole time. But I feel like we got through it though, and we shot that shit for like 24 hours. Oh wow! Yeah, it was like 24 hours shoot. Nah, that worked out. You definitely do be working. I see you like always in the studio. Mm -hmm. Um, even T V shows when I last seen you, like yeah. you're somebody who's always outside. But I mm -hmm. also saw that you just had a baby, a yeah. new baby, congrats. Mm -hmm. A boy. Yeah, got a boy on the way. Yeah. Yeah. You wanted a boy? Yeah. I saw you had the blue in your hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wanted a boy originally. We um me and my partner, we both we both wanted a boy, so I feel like um it's gonna be this go round is gonna be special. Mm -hmm. How many kids you have? I got I got a daughter. Uh -huh. And I got son on the way. So okay, what well, any that names? I know of. <laughs> <laughs> any names? Um, my son name is Seven, and my daughter name is Clover. And um, what's, oh, what's, I love those. Yeah, what's good about them is like Clover. The thing that represents Clover, um, is also, is also um, associated with being lucky. Yeah. Like, so when you think of like Lucky or the Irish, they use like the clover Clovers, leaf. Yeah. And then my my son name is Seven. So I'm just calling the Lucky Seven. Yeah, no, okay. guys number. Cute. <laughs> that's that's super fly. I know it's probably very very difficult because I know you're a herbalist and mm -hmm. it's probably really difficult to eat healthy mm -hmm. with the lifestyle that you live. How do you maintain? Um, just finding just the every city I'm in or whatever city, whatever I, whatever city I go to, just finding like the nearest vegan or alkaline restaurants to me. You know, if it's not any, um, finding a chef that can do some. Or if it's not that, just fasting. Um, I feel like I develop a type of discipline to know, like, 
if it's if it's no food around for me to eat, it's just not meant for me to eat. I ain't wow. gonna eat, so I just fast. How you do that yeah, in our <laughs> lifestyle wow. where we don't sleep and we always in the like? How do you do that? Cause that has to be Are very difficult. Are you a tea type of person? Uh, I'll tea. Do, yeah. yeah, I do teas too, like um herbal teas and stuff. I used to love sweet tea, but I don't really too much drink sweet tea no more. Cause you know, yeah, good. but but I just find I just find I feel like it's just balancement um, and discipline. You think that helps your focus too? Yeah, yeah, it helps. Me. It helps. It helps to be on anything, cause I feel like if you can train the body to not even eat certain things or not want to eat, sometimes it's like one of the biggest disciplines you can have, cause you know people are always hungry, you know. So I feel like with me just being able to do that stuff, I feel like I always be disciplined and I always stay true to me, because I have boundaries that I follow within the body. So I feel like. Cool. That's really good. A lot of people don't have that type of discipline. I can't do it. Do you ever <laughs> feel like tempted? Like, what are the the most tempting things to you? Um, I guess somebody's around you eating certain things. Do you feel tempted? No, 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 no. Your whole family eat healthy. No, they be no. eating chicken. They bring a whole <laughs> pot pie fried chicken. <laughs> I don't ever get tempted. I just know. I just know what it do. Yeah. I just know what it do to my body. I know. I know the signs behind everything. So like. I'm not tripping off missing a meal that ain't for me. No, I know what resonates with my body and what's good for me and what keeps me sane. So I ain't going to double back or go back on that because at the end of the day, they'll be relapsing. I know the state of mind I was in once before. So, no, I don't ever feel tipped it, though. No. That's good. <laughs> Shout out to your discipline. I'm, I'm inspired. I don't know if I can commit, but I'm inspired for sure. <laughs> so, I saw you posted, um, like, when there was uh, pictures of you, Vaughn, Pop, mm -hmm. Nip. What do you feel your relationship was with those people? Um, from from Vaughn, that was like my brother. Like he felt like a brother that I ain't really just. I I had brothers, but he was like one of my brothers. Like, no, he was just like a brother to me, honestly. And um, like I say, like every time when he was on house arrest or whatnot, I used to be over his house, play the games, we record. You know what I'm saying? He nigga cook, <laughs> he'd be cooking and stuff. I got tattooed at his house before. Like, it was just love. Um, even when before he was on house arrest, just being with him and Dirk, um, they always embraced me and took me in as a brother. So I always, you know, it was always love. And Nip, I feel like I met Nip, like, twice. And right before we were supposed to get in the studio, you know, the tragic happened. And um, Pop, we was in the studio before, and we were supposed to work. Just never got to the song, but, like, you know, these people in Juice World, I was on tour with him. So, like, all these people I feel we lost, you know, I just feel like they for sure played a role in, in my life because they showed me something that I want to custom to. Like, Juice, he was the only person I know you could throw on a beat for 15 minutes straight and hear freestyle straight out the top, nothing written, just rap and be fluent like he's speaking, you know. So, it's certain things I saw from certain people. You just picked it and put it all together. Mm -hmm. That's no, dope. That's fly. So how do you like stay centered? I know like like Spence said you lost a lot of people like a part mm -hmm. of the journey. What are some things that are keeping you grounded? Cuz I know social media. I know you're not too big on social yeah. media. You don't really be on that. But mm -hmm. what are some things that you do to stay zen? Um just know that everything happened for a reason, you know, and stuff supposed to supposed to happen. Um and just know that death is a beautiful thing more so than a detrimental thing. You know, it's just be unfortunate the way a lot of us die. It's like through murders or you know what I'm saying? Gun violence. That's what really makes it. Painful. That's what makes it painful. Not, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, just know that, um, at the end of the day, just know it happens for a reason. And, um, just know, like, um, I don't know. You know? I, I like how you <laughs> flip it into a pot or, you know, into like shining yeah, light on positive, it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got to. I feel like that's the only thing you can do. I, I'm real big on turning anything negative to a positive light. I was I'm reading saying. in your comments. Uh, like one of your fans was saying how pretty much like you inspired them, changed their lives, mm -hmm. like made them pretty much a positive person too and mm -hmm. changed their outlook on life. How do you feel when you read comments like that? Man, honestly, I feel like I'm doing what I'm set out to do. I'm, Is that I'm, intentional? I'm, yeah, like purpose. I feel like I live in purpose when I have people doing that because it's a lot of people's lives I change on a day-to-day -day basis just with me speaking. Yeah. So just imagine if I go to um the wits and and, and to do do more actions, you know. I change a lot of people just by speaking on certain things, informing people. I change a lot of people's lives just by taking the action to sell herbs. So it's just certain things that people not doing with the platform I have. 
And I just feel like this something that's majorly important. You know? Let's get into the the project. How's the mm-hmm. the song with Moneybag? Let's talk about it. Moneybag. Um, I feel like it was some overdue, especially with us being from the same city. And um, I just feel like it's one of my favorite off the albums. One of my favorite. The video's before. fire, by the way. Yeah, it went crazy. Shout out Ben Mark. Ben Mark, best director out here. Me and him, we just be coming up with the treatments. We'll sit down. I told him, I'm like, man, I just want a lot of fire. <laughs> like, I just want fire everywhere. I want even the edits with the eyes and everything was yo, dope. On me, I'm telling them like I want the fire. I want like the the fireman shit like Wayne did. I tried to recreate the Michael Myers shit. I don't know if I saw Halloween when he had that. Uh, he was walking off the porch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the fire behind him, and then the firefighters was out there. Mm-hmm. I wanted to recreate that. We would have did it, but I just didn't have enough time to do it. But yeah, the vision behind it for sure came to life. No, that was definitely dope. You do all the creative directions in your music well, videos? I got to. I got to. Every video. Pac, from the Pac one, wrote it all out. I be making PowerPoints. I be making whole what? treatments. Nah, yo, your discipline is a different nah, level for real. For real. Dope, That's though. dope. <laughs> we made PowerPoints in school, so that shit it's had true. to transition to something. You know? <laughs> we took something from school. You know what I mean? Nah, that's hilarious. That's so flat. All right, so... um. Back to the herb things. I'm sorry. I know you want to talk about the music, but I saw you tweet one time that you mm. were gonna put out something that would pretty much like replace mm. a BBL. Yeah, yeah. Work Are you still natural. working on that? Like, yeah. what's going on? It's pretty much. It's pretty much done. I'm just waiting for the right time to present it uh, and get a, now a is large the enough. Time. I'm like, I'm like, please. <laughs> and is it gonna be cheaper? Like, what's the details yeah, behind gonna, this? It's gonna be affordable. You just gotta whatever whatever the cost is gonna. The cost is only going to hurt you with the consistency of it. You know, that's all it is. With, or you can't take it one time and, oh, I'm good. You know, yeah. it's consistent. It's something like a two-week, three-week process for you to see results. So, Oh, two um, to three weeks is not bad. Yeah, you know, bad. BBL, it takes half a year to heal. Yeah, for <laughs> so real? So that's like, not uh-huh. that I've been looking into it. Uh-huh. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that either. <laughs> it takes a long, you got to get incisions and all that. So when I'm like, I didn't know that there was a healthy way to do that. So yeah. that's really fascinating. I know it's going to be how to man. Yeah, because you be selling out. Yeah, quick as shit. Yeah, you really be selling out. Yeah, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I sold out a lot. I, had to, I got so many orders at one period of time that um, I had to shut my, shut my um, website down. Because the mindset I had was like, I didn't want to put inventory on nothing because I wanted to never feel like some stop. Uh, I always wanted to keep the work going, like you know yeah. the ball. That's that rolling. discipline, you heard? Yeah, yeah, but that's hard. But though. nah, that's... that shit. That shit. I had to get out of there. That. That, <laughs> that shit ain't reality. I'm about to say, you know that's a lot. Yeah. Uh, hell, nah. I was behind. Orders was behind. <laughs> People was on my ass. I'm like, yeah, you know. But it, you learn certain stuff to brace you for the big, the big bang. You know, yeah. you gotta now. Nah, just imagine if I was thinking like that and everything came at me. Let's just say I made a billion dollars that year. Off herbs, you know what I'm saying? And my thoughts is keep the ball rolling with everything. Like, you know, you know how how much of that bill, you know, with the loss <laughs> off sues yeah. and all that stuff, yeah. you know. So you just gotta be on point with it. Yeah, good. That's a that's a definitely a good lesson learned. <laughs> For sure. It's a lot that goes into running a business. Yeah. And you already right. Besides what you got going yeah, on, you're on all that stuff. That's that's a lot. Yeah. A lot, so, you yeah. Know, oh man, me. that's dope. I love that. I saw you um was on the theme song for Raising Canaan with fifty. How was mm-hmm. it working with him? I ain't gonna lie, that was beautiful. I feel like I feel like there was some it was that was like one of them dreams come true type things because I grew up watching, you know, Get Rich or Die Trying. Grew up listening to Mini Man. You know, I'm young but I'm still I'm still alert on like all the music that came before me because I resonate with it more than today's music. So mm-hmm. um Did you feel any pressure? Cause you know, when fifty changed the theme song for yeah. power originally people was pissed. So yeah. like yeah, remember? Yeah, when, when it, I think it was Trey. Trey songs, yeah, they changed yeah. it to Trey songs. People. Nah, the remember. song with him and Fifth was fire though for the theme song. No, I remember, but yeah. I know it's like mm-hmm. you got it. There's a bar. I knew, <laughs> like I knew, I knew for instance, like probably certain some of the older people probably wouldn't wouldn't like rocked with it all the way with me, but I knew like my generation would have rocked with it. what I was doing for showing. Sure. Because like, the old school beat. Yeah, yeah. But he he flowed on yeah. it though. Yeah, nah, so I know. So he mixed the two together. It was definitely dope. I had to. I remember I spun it. I'm a supporter. I'm just asking for my <laughs> job. But um, then I'm super ha- I'm super excited that you mm-hmm. stopped by to chop it up with us. You know you What's got up? your support from us at Power 105.1 yeah. always. You got what else can we expect from the project videos, all that other stuff coming out? Um, and tours. We kind of outside again. Yeah, like yeah, what's yeah. happening? We might. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I I I'm sensing like another lockdown this year though. Honestly, but. 
God forbid that, but I don't think sure. so. I don't think so. Shit. I hope not. I really don't. Also, I pay the bills. Why you, <laughs> Why you feel like that? I don't know. It's just they picking up on new strands or whatever. Yeah, but that flu Rona. Yo, I yeah, caught the new one. They, I ain't gonna lie. It came and it went. Yeah, they they catching on the new stuff and just saying new stuff. So I feel like. Uh, yeah. All right. And I ain't gonna. I don't know, but at the same time though, to do get started, I'm for sure hyped about it. Hyped about it. I was supposed to this month. Like I was supposed to go to England to on what it was a European tour. It's supposed to go to Dubai, all this stuff. Like I think it was this month. All this stuff got pushed back or canceled oh. because of the fact. So, um, but yeah, though, music, the music videos are on the way. I got shot like so many videos, and all of them is a treat. Oh, they already all done. All of them is interesting. Yeah. Oh, okay. I okay. like that. <laughs> all right. Well, you got to support over here, power. Whatever you need, you know, we got you. Yes, Thank always. you. Always. Thanks for stopping by and um, let the people know where they can stream your music. Me versus me out now. Man, me versus me everywhere. You know, do that. You know, whatever. <laughs> Just out. Until out next time, shit. guys. Peace. <laughs>